Come here. I'm gonna comb all of my hair down. These are the two feet that we did the, uh, the poodle foot on. So I'm gonna take that, I'm just gonna kind of hold it down. I'm gonna cut right to my line that I trimmed in, my straights. And I'll show you a cheat on the back that you can do with your trimmers. Comb it one more time. And hold it down. Let's go around. Okay. So that's going to start my bevel back there, but with the trimmers. A lot of people have found it very helpful to just use your trimmer to cut in your line. So you just brush all your hair down. You can go to a 40. And you just find your line back here and you just cut straight in, and pull out, in, pull out, just up to your previous groom line. Let me go on this side, see what I'm doing. And it sets a nice bevel as well. Now I'm going to use my stream. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So when you are setting in a continental on the back, how I measure it and how I've been taught to measure it is you V your fingers and you push it down right where that hawk is. And that is the, uh, the highest point of the back. And you always want to do a slight angle forward into it. So I'm going to retrim my line just to get that super nice bevel on the base. And her hair has gotten quite a bit thinner in her older age. Her volume isn't quite there. So we're going to kind of fake it a little bit. Just really push it up. And I was always taught to make the back one look like an egg, like a hard boiled egg kind of going to the corner. So just kind of fluff it up and put it into my bottom line. I try to save as much hair as on the top as possible. So I take the bottom, curve it up. Always fluff, 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 fluff. All your hairs are always going to move on you. So you want to make sure you get as much as you can. She's missing a little coat in this back leg.
just take that little top corner off just to kind of I want to make sure I get enough coat off of her so she's not touching each other when she's walking in the pom-poms. I'm okay with the back one. We'll do the front. Is that a dog? <laughs> and we might be doing duck grooming at the dog show. Sounds pretty fun back there. So I'm going to curve that bevel up. Yes. I occasionally use spray. I don't personally like to use a lot of product in my dogs because then I have to turn around and wash it all out whenever I've got this much coat. So most of my clients, I rarely use any product. Shampoo, conditioner, and then I'm done. Now, whenever, oh, whenever I put her up, I'll definitely use product, but most of the time I don't use too much. Pandora, up, 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 up. Okay. Um, I want to use anything that's a thickening spray. I like the Artero thickeners and then I like iGroom. Um, they've got some really nice stuff to put up there. Some, I like volume in it. Yeah. So I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm just kind of fluffing this up to here. So I'm gonna take my curves and just round it up to that top line. Stop. Stop. Pandora, stop. Curve that in. girl. girl. Anything else that needs to come out that way? Just really pull that area. Pandora. Girl. 
see that piece needs to come down. So it's pull, 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 pull. <laughs> Playing with the cotton balls. Uh -huh. It's so fluffy. <laughs> but... So I'm just gonna try to scissor some of this length off up here. I need to go back in with like a blow pin later these back up to her uh, rosettes up there. I had to cut some of the length down because they were just... Now, now, here's a question for you. So when doing a continental, do you find that every time you set her pattern, it adjusts a little bit every time? Yes, yeah. I, I do. I mean, she's getting older and she's... Her, her body's sagging a lot more than what it used to. Right. Um, like say each, yeah. I mean, you can tell down here is where we had had it. Right. Um, so we're lifting it up. Now, granted, it was too long, but yeah. I. It's hard to actually set that solid line in. When you're showing a dog that it's perfect to have those lines set in, but sometimes dogs do change. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. part of that is the way they stand, but part of it is just how the hair grows out too, do you think? Or is it mainly in... Their, their stance, how they're holding their body. I think it's their stance, how they're holding their body because she's yeah. not stacked properly right no, now. And not. so she's going to move this leg out and you're going to see a lot of change that needs to happen. So whenever, if you're doing a show cut, you have to have your dog properly stacked in order to get your lines perfect. Luckily, she's not a show dog, so we'll be okay. It'll be all all right. But yeah, I'm going to use a little bit and just... Brush, 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 brush. I'm just looking forward to not having as much hair to bathe and dry later on. Now, when when she's in coat like this, when you bathe her out weekly, how long does it take you to bathe and dry her? Oh, I'm very lucky. Um, she dries really quick, so I can bathe her in about 15, 20 minutes. I do two baths on her, generally a squeaky clean and then a volumizing. And then it takes me only about 30, 45 minutes because she doesn't have that much coat. She yeah. looks really fluffy, but she's lost a lot of her volume over the eight yeah. years. Right. So I can get her dry in about 30 minutes. Yeah. So she sets me back about a year. Thank you. My baby boy made the cover of Groomer to Groomer. So I came up and saw him on my cover. I'm like, yes, he made it to the show. I'm gonna take just a little more because it, sprayed, pulled some of this out. And when you're misting the coat in between, how about how often are you misting the coat? See, that's that's what Chelsea asked me earlier. I'm really bad about using a lot of spray on my dog right. simply because right. in my shop, I don't use that much spray. Right. Um, I don't put too much product on my dogs. So when they go out, whenever I am doing a poodle scissor, I generally will spray it. Um, Normally I'll do a really, really rough cut just to try to find my lines, then maybe spray it, then I'll go back over it, um, spray it again, fluff it out. And I just kind of whittle my way in whenever I do it. And you know, I find that too, when, when I'm scissoring, when I'm doing a scissor I, I block it all in first, Yes. then go another round to kind of set everything. And then my third time around is my finish. Yes. So yes. that's when I pay closer attention. I might use a little more spray at that point yes. in between, but yeah. I was just curious with her how often yeah. you feel the need to Yeah. So we're getting there. I need to pull some of that down and get in there, but she's, like I said, she's a good girl. Up in there. 
I'll take some of that in. So on her other side, I'm going to trim some of this in really quick. And then on her other side, we may try to do a little more of the print. Let me scissor some of this just to make it sharper. And use my smallest shears just to kind of get in there and trim up the lines. Okay, Pandora, can you turn around really quick? She is getting tired. You do the inside of that one leg, so at least she'll have a matching. Pandora, you turn around. Come here. You turn around. Turn around, love. Around. All around. Good girl. Woo. Careful, baby. You okay? Hmm. Turn it up. Good girl. All right. I may try to do something a little different on this side. May do some swirls. Those are pretty handy dandy. Right? Okay. Let me see. Hmm. I don't know. We'll go ahead and do a zebra. That way she'll at least match. Get a little tighter in there. Back 
card. There's some more lines. Uh, the dye I used was the Opaz Black. Super black. Uh huh. Angela has it at her booth. Um, it's actually, it's a two-parter, uh, so it is a mix, but it is black. And a little tiny bit goes a very, very long way. Should do a trivia. This one? Well, <laughs> I, don't know, I have four different standard poodles, so we travel all over the place. Um, Handy's, I've only competed with her once in breed profile and then. She used to be my abstract dog. So abstract is that really cool creative where you have a breed profile trim and then you just do something kind of crazy on it like this. Um, we've done a couple where one, she was checkers and the other polka dots. It was simple, but it was elegant. It was a lot of fun. My other, my boys, we've traveled all over the place doing you know every creative, crazy competition that we can. Chaos is on the cover of Groomer to Groomer right now, yeah. He was, and that was the only time I had ever done that design. So it about broke my heart to, re that was my retirement groom. So it was like, ah, oh, it's done. Said again, just trying to make lines and some of these pieces, her skin is still kind of dyed black in there. Let's do a V. Thank you. 